Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? Clayton J. Jensen here, and today's vlog is live! Yeah, it is. What's up everybody? Hope you guys are having a great day. Hope you're doing something that you're passionate about. Thanks for tuning in as always. After today's vlog, if you haven't already, swing on over, check out yesterday's vlog where we discussed all that matters is right now. When we focus too much on what other people are doing, what happened to us in the past or what we wish would have happened, we don't realize the power that we have, like Leo Tolstoy articulates, the power of right now. Let's ensure that we're taking full advantage of every opportunity that we have. And what that takes is appreciating the moment and then utilizing that moment to help make a difference in the lives of other people. So if you haven't already, after today's vlog, swing on over and check out yesterday's vlog. We discussed all that matters is right now. In today's vlog, we'll be discussing the person who has the idea is important. They are. Let's not forget them. But it is the one who capitalizes on the idea who makes the largest impact. All right, so I want to start off with a little story today. I thought that'd be fun. Imagine a family of mice, a large family of mice, a close-knit family. They like to eat cheese, they like to hang out, they like to have a good time. But their one worry, their one concern, is that ferocious feline. You know, the tenacious house cat. It's so scary. No matter where they turn, the cat is always there trying to pick one of them off. So, understandably, they're extremely fearful. And, the cat is so nimble-footed, they hardly are able to tell where he is. Well, one day, one of the younger mice had an idea. Why don't we tie a bell around the neck of the cat so that we'll know wherever he is, the bell will ring. All the other mice were excited. Oh, this is such a great idea. I love this. Let's do this. One of the older mice chimed in, exclaimed that, you know, this idea didn't really make too much sense because although the idea might be good, there was no implementation. There was no way for them to execute it. How are they going to get the bell around the neck of the cat? What does that show us? Ideas are important, but they mean very little if we're unable to execute upon them. Ideas are so important. I mean, if you think about it, it's great ideas that change the world. It's great ideas that make us not think that the world is flat. <laughs> you know, so great ideas are important. But many an idea has come and gone unexecuted upon. We need to make sure that what makes the difference is not the idea, it's important, but it's our ability to turn that idea into reality. So, I don't know if you knew this, but the light bulb actually wasn't invented by Thomas Edison. It was actually invented back in 1806, more than 70 years before Thomas Edison was credited for it, by an Englishman named Humphrey Davy. Mr. Davy built something similar, lamp looking like, a glass enclosed structure that had two charcoal rods and in the middle a spark would occur. The only problem with this you know, invention, the way that he created the light bulb was one, the light was way, way too bright, could not be sustained inside a normal home. Number two, because of the brightness of the light, because the inability to control the transfer of energy, it took up way too much. The batteries that he had would run out almost immediately. Well, fast forward to 19, excuse me, <laughs> to 1879, get a little ahead of myself there, and over 10,000 prototypes later, Thomas Edison finally filed for his patent, I believe it was in November of that year, for the incandescent light bulb. 70 years after Humphrey Daisy and 10,000 or more prototypes. 10,000. I mean, it's crazy to think about. But what do we remember? Do we remember Humphrey Davy? I mean, I didn't even know the individual's name until I did some research on him. We remember Thomas Edison. Remember the person who brought that idea to fruition, who capitalized on the idea, and in doing so, made the largest impact on society. I mean, we probably can't even comprehend how many ways our lives have been affected by Thomas Edison's inventions, but even just more specifically, the light bulb, the ability to control light, to not be dependent upon fire. There's so many different things that come along with that, but I think that 
just shows the idea was important. Humphrey Davy coming up with this idea, attempting to execute on it was key. But really what made the larger difference was Thomas Edison capitalizing on the idea. Well, what does it mean for us today? How do we how do we capitalize on our ideas so that we don't fall into the you know the same boat as a gentleman like Humphrey Davy? Well, first thing now I'm gonna argue is that we need to continually be increasing our knowledge base on that specific topic. On that thing that we're most passionate about, that we may feel like we've got a product or service within us or a book to write or a video to produce. Whatever it is that we feel that we can create within that industry, within that passion, within that realm, we need to make sure that we're continually increasing our knowledge base on that topic. Reading books, reading articles like we discussed yesterday. Never feel satisfied with the knowledge that you have because your ability to be an expert on that topic is what's going to allow you not only to capitalize on the idea, Number two, what can we do other than increase our knowledge base on the topic? Well, in today's digitally connected age, we're able to connect to people unlike we ever could before, and we need to tap into the intellectual capital of those around us. Not only to help us increase our knowledge base on the topic, but also to see other specific ways that we may not have thought of that our idea might work or that they might transform or that we might be able to work together. Whatever it ends up being, we shouldn't feel that we're just going to be able to do it on our own. We need to use the connected ability online, on social media, to not only connect with other individuals, but think about it this way, you're connecting with your future customers. The best way to create demand for yourself is to start engaging them, asking what they want. What kind of product would they want? What kind of service would they want? What kind of job is it that a lot of people are interested in so you know what to go into? What type of school best you know, embodies your passion, what you want to go into do? We shouldn't feel like we can get all the information ourselves. Let's make sure we're tapping into the intellectual capital of those individuals around us. And like I said, we have access to that unlike ever before. So as individuals and as companies, let's make sure we're increasing our knowledge base on topics. And then we're co-branding together. We're learning more about each other, engaging with each other. And in doing so, we're tapping into each other's intellectual capital and increasing the overall intellectual capital of humanity. We can do it together, guys. Let's make sure that we help each other not just come up with good ideas, but to capitalize on them. That's going to make the largest impact, and we can do it together. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you had fun where I discussed the person who has the ideas of per but the one who capitalized on it is who makes the largest impact. I would love to hear your opinion. I'd love to hear what you thought about today's vlog, or maybe a previous vlog. Message me over at Clayton J. Jensen. I would love to hear more about you, more about what you're passionate about, how we can co-brand together, how we can brand social good, and in doing so, how we can make this world a better place. Tune in for tomorrow's vlog we'll be discussing. You gotta be different. Whether you're an individual or whether you're a business, you can't just be doing what everyone else is doing. You need to stand out. You need to be a little weird. Let's make sure when our customers, when our following sees us, they go, whoa, this person stands out. They're different. And there's a reason why those type of individuals are the one who are able to capitalize on their ideas and then monetize their passions most efficient. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you guys have a great rest of the evening. Hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will see you guys over here tomorrow. Until then, as always, you guys spread joy, love, and peace. Peace, everybody.